Alright, welcome back. One sec, let me turn down my volume a bit. And my computer will probably make this game lag again. Alright. So, anyways, last time I said there's a boss, and we need to verse him. He can be kind of an asshole if you don't know exactly what to do with him. And trust me, he can. Now, one thing is, you gotta have a weak level soul equipped, and make sure you don't have any, like, souls that are really powerful that you like using. Because this next boss, well, you'll see. So, new seal activates. We won't be having to use that until the next boss fight, but let's watch. Dimitri. Oh, wow. That's a high level demon. At least for our level. Whoa, what the? It's like the power of dominance. He just copied his abilities. Oh, excuse me for that rather uncaught scene. You're one of the Dark Lord's candidates. Dimitri Benevol. I don't know what his name was, so I just used random gibberish. Blah, blah, blah. You were fighting a demon. Does that mean you've forsaken Cilia? You have drawn the wrong conclusion. This is merely a ritual to gain power. A ritual? You witnessed this, yes? Unless you are as dim as Daria, you shouldn't have discerned my abilities. So that's what it is. The ability to copy magic attacks. Ah, how observant of you. Now, since there's no one else to disrupt us, hold it. I don't have any reason to fight you. Do you have any reason for going along with Celia's scheme? None whatsoever. Well then. However, I have this power. I wish to know the meaning of it. Of it, its significance. It is that, not a natural desire. And for that, you want to become the Dark Lord? Is that so wrong? Refining my power will finally provide me with answers. Let us begin. Okay! This guy's annoying as crap! Ah! You gotta watch out for that, and basically, he absorbs magic attacks. That's a hint. If I can get it off! Okay, come on. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. He's not pinning it. Ass! You know what? Suck on that. There we go. God, I have to press up, then use my soul ability. I don't know what the hell is wrong. It's much easier on the DS. Because this thing, my controls on my keyboard are kind of finicky, so they don't really like responding when I press them. Come on, you stupid bitch. Yeah. Get that off on you. Ah. So you gotta watch out. Even though he is not doing much, it still does a good chunk of damage. Even though it's my uh, skeleton ability. Alright, come on, you bastard. Let's jump over us. Suck. Ah! Oh, god damn it. Ah. Ah. Screw you up. Son of a bitch. Alright. Cream puff. I'm right. You dead yet? Dead yet? Die already! Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> this is not funny. Suck it, Dario. Wait, wrong person. I mean, Dimitri. Yeah, too many D names in this game. It's over. It's, I came up short, it seems. I won't take your life. Just give up. You dare pity me? Soon you should be the one that will be pitied upon. Gah! Yeah, that's better Guah noise than I did. What? Dead? That can't be! What the hell? Uh, what was that? Did I gain dominance over a human soul? No, I gained no power, but what was that like? A plot device for later on, Soma. A plot device for later on. Alright, I'm gonna go freaking heal because that boss uh, boss fight was kind of a bitch. And then we have another boss. Hooray. And this time we have to use a seal, so... That's bullshit. <laughs> eh, 
slide so much. Okay, so... Oh, God, I forgot about the qu Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, if you walk back out of this room and come back in, an enemy will be there named Quetzalcoatl. It's annoying as hell to kill. There we go. Only took a few hits. Screw it anyways. So anyways, what we want to do is we want to go up here and another bus door. You know what that means. Let's go. This guy. I forget what you're called. Now, you want to have a weapon that has a higher arc in order to do that. And watch out for darkness. Yeah. Again? Twice in a row? You son of a... Nah. Whoa. Went up pretty high there, huh? So, if he gets up too high and he can't jump... Oh, God. Not again. Huh. You gotta watch out for those dark balls. Or whatever. Ah. And those. That can be a... Kind of a... Ah. Uh... Okay, I can't explain my strategy because this guy's being a total ass. Yeah, you can easily dodge them, but... Oh, is that the only attack you're gonna freaking use? Jesus. Yeah, and his wings have no hit points, so that's kind of a... Oh, god damn you, computer. Get a few hits on him before he gathers. Yep. Yeah, watch out for that, too. Oh, not again. Ah! God damn you. Okay, if he gets up pretty high, you can start spamming that. Ah. Ah. Ah, son of a bitch. Come on. Uh, at least he isn't doing the dark balls, but I swear to God, he's probably going to do it after. Awesome. Okay, what's the seal? Down. Okay. Oh, I got it. Nice. Thank you. Malefus. Double jump. That's his name. All right. Yes, absorb his birds. Yeah, now we can execute... Double jumps. Isn't that awesome? Woo! Now we can get places where we can it before. And that's pretty useful. Especially because a lot of this, a lot of lighter parts in the game require a double jump. And even further abilities than that. Alright. There we go. Quetzalcoatl is dead like usual. Usual. Eh. I can't speak today. I apologize. Alright, so... Let's get out of the dark chapel and go back to the, um, Garden of Madness. Die, Valkyrie. There we go. No soul drop. I don't expect any. You're level three. What about you? You're level two. Will you drop any souls? Oh, God. Nope. But I will get a level up from him, which is pretty good. What about you? Will you drop a soul? Nah, I never expected you to, anyways. Oh, wow! I wasn't expecting a soul drop from him. Or you! I'm getting lucky right now. And, ironically, the soul dancers improve your luck. Ah. There we go. Like I said, the hit detection on us is kind of... Eh. That's why most people don't like it anymore. How's our lag? There shouldn't be any lag. Yeah. Eh, fuck it. I'm getting the hell out of here. So, anyways, up here is another warp area, and we can go back to the Garden of Madness, which is pretty close to the destination where we want to get to. 